And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game number two. Bonks looking to secure two points. AU looking to split the series. For the side of Bong Z, we've got Lecheru, Kleb, Daring, San Martin, Minnow, Stalingrad, Moskva, Preussen, and Vermont. For the side of AU, we've got Ragnar, Ledge Gearing, Kleber, Ledge Daring, Ledge Moskva, Minnow, Ledge Wooster, Ohio, and Burgon. So, these teams are going to battle it out. Health is a significant advantage for the side of Bonk Z because of the difference in the number of DDs as well as the Stalingrad. Um, interesting things to watch and monitor here. Minnow balances out. Moscow balances out. Um, you're going to see... I'm interested to see how they want to deploy these Gearing, Daring, Club Ragnar. Looks like I'm going to see... We're going to see a push towards B early. The San Martin, we've seen a lot of those this tournament due to the fact that it's basically fulfilling the role of Nevsky in tournaments past, though not as effectively. Preuss in Vermont versus Ohio Burgoyne. That Burgoyne, watch White Snow, because I feel like he may end up making the difference. Because the Burgones, if played right, can do absolutely massive work. So we'll have to monitor and see how it's going to go, because that is something I am... Greatly intrigued. Now... You can see for the side of AU, the Kleb gearing Ragnar going to A, so that's going to be a wolf pack out there, um, which is intriguing. I was expecting more towards B, but looks like it's going to be a wolf pack to A. A is basically the kiting flank for Bong Z. They're sending heavy forces towards C. A will get run over quickly here, and with those three DDs, I mean, Kleb plus Ragnar plus gearing are just going to absolutely burn stuff down. Now, we are going to watch, we'll see, it looks like a similar split here, steady at B, for darings against each other, and then a Moskva in support. Um, I really do, actually, it's a very similar setup, where the Klebs are going to A and C, respectively. Shots are out from Kermit. They do spot Yoshida. Watch the shots here, the shots on Yoshida. This could be big. Shells in on Preussen. Preussen does take 10k damage they get the moskva under 60,000 they do force the early dcp and the moskva of tester takes back the same amount so overall trade advantage goes to the side of au um and there's still some more information kleb is spotted so watch the minnow of emiya oh and preussen of kermit seppuku just takes a chunk he gets dark but that is a lot of early damage. Now, Daring has not been spotted yet for either team. C is taken, so narrow points lead to the side of AU. AU, though, has already dropped that health differential to 60k. And so watch and monitor this early on. Here's going to be the first big fight, is going to be this challenge into mid on them but we are going to take a look here at the kleb san martin fight no oh, the kleb absolutely rolling him with that ap oh my goodness i mean san martin will execute the heal but that was a beautiful salvo from the kleb there just absolutely aping the broadside of the san martin now admiral tester and the vermont both spotted Shots come in. They'll dodge. But watch, here comes the contest. And the Ragnar of Call Me Junjun ready for positioning. They'll force him back. You see Talad Howard trying to get himself into a spot to get the damage here. He's only getting one gun. He's going to smoke and back up more. We've got 17 seconds left, so they got enough time to do some significant uh, work if they can get the shots on. 
Shots coming in. Penguin Cola at 21-4. Not enough to justify this radar yet, though, beyond the just area denial of the cap. Because you only got 3,000 in change. Now, one thing that we're going to keep a close eye on is advantage timings. Minno Heru working up and going to be pushing around soon and watch for the shots on the Ohio. Wooster sitting on the mid island, San Martin staying out there. San Martin in a better position than the Minnow to stop an edge push right now. So just keep an eye out. Especially because the Minnow's already used one radar. He'll have a second here, but they know that he's hurting on them. And the Heru's just gonna smoke up. And then Minnow will not have range to the Ohio. But the Proison of Kermit coming through. Uh, early damage. I mean, Kermit obviously hurting more right now. But watch these secondaries, because the Proison secondaries are going to do a lot of work here. You can see the heal being fought back by the secondaries. Second salvo in, 4k only for the Ohio, Bong Z really doing a good job angling to air you deny those shots. And so that health lead is basically gone. Yes, there's still a heal lead um, because there's an extra heal for the Ohio, but the health lead is basically gone. Yoshida also taking some significant damage there, and the Kleb of Battleship Nagato spotted. He's going to have to back away. He's going to take a lot here. He can't do anything to deny this. Or, wow, he's going to get away for free. But yeah, you watch, like I said, I mean, you, the heal is going to put the Ohio up higher, but the Proison gets a really good trade there, and you can see Bong Z starting to set up to challenge B. But, early cap over now to the side of AU. AU takes the points lead, and it's going to start to grow for a while. Big hit on the Kleber. 5k comes out onto him, forced to instantly DCP. Nobody has radar right now onto them. Proison of Kermit now in a really uncomfortable situation. He's got a Burgone sitting on his edge. He'll put the shells in, but all ricochets. And that is the worst thing about fighting against French battleships is when you get that. 14k off of him and another 2k in the fire here. No heal ready right now, so watch White Snow. You're going to see some more damage from Cheshire most likely. And so White Snow down to 44k, Stalingrad forced to DCP as well. And now here comes the back into B from the daring of Todd Howard. Another chunk coming in on the Burgone. Burgone takes another 10k and watch that heal. Heal's gonna do a good job, but it is a lot they managed to get on him. Daring spotted, courtesy of Radar, will force away Todd Howard. And you've still got this play over here. San Martin had spotting on both. There comes the Radar. That should stop the take and force Desquarius Green Jr. to move away. So AU up by almost 100 points, down 70,000 health. Really watch the Preuss and Burgone. If one of them goes down significantly earlier than the other this could be a big deal burgone has three heals left oh and the proison gets white barred by hanabi and kermit now in deep danger but minnow doesn't have radar for another three seconds how much can they build on him before his radar comes up they see the radar coming up Shots start to come in. Minnow responds back. He's going to have to turn and run, though. He's trying to get Dyer out. Dyer down to 12,000. A lot of damage on Emmy up. Oh, Dyer, though. Really in dire danger. Proison of Kermit goes down. And it looks like we're about to see AU get their second kill. Oh, and Addy takes a torp. Dyer at 2,400. Minnow of Emmy uh, does use the heal. Dyer gets out of the radar range, but he still has to get dark. Dark. 
And big hit onto Addy. And ladies and gentlemen, AU moving rapidly into control. Watch these shells right here. If this kills, this might kill. It does, ladies and gentlemen. And AU takes the 2 0 lead. And they're now up 30,000 health. And you're going to see Bongzi struggling to find a way back in at this point. Burgone using a heal. They get him down to 28,000, but it's not enough. And that fight against the Minnow and the Ohio and the pricing going down just absolutely. Devastates Bong Z's chances. Three minutes and 11 seconds. Now, the A cap is being taken. The Kleber of Battleship Nagato gets in. Wooster is going to radar. That's going to be devastating for the Wooster, or the Kleber, pardon me. Kleber of Battleship Nagato goes to work on the gearing. He's got the reload booster. He's trying to get the kill. He's saying, I might die, but I want the kill here. Will they get it? They've got him down to 9,000. They got the reload booster. It just finished. How much more damage do they get before they lose him? Looks like it will be traded out. But you needed that cap, and so now you got to move. And watch out, Moskva. You've got Torps coming at you, sir. Trying to turn, but will it be quick enough? Looks like he's going to dodge... All but one. He will take one. Or no. Wow. I thought for sure he was taking that one. And so that does... You don't have time though right now because you need to be in caps. And so you're going to see moves into caps here. The problem is these radars. Darren can't go in because there's a Moskva radar running right now. And he can't smoke up. He's trying to get the Burgone down, but it looks like it's just going to be too little too late, ladies and gentlemen. And if he goes down, that'll be game right there. Todd Howard's Radiant AI trying not to go down, but Aurora strikes back. And they're going to get the kill there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will just about do it. Aurora pulls out game two. They're going to make this a split of one to one and great for Aurora devastating for Bong Z's chances when a game you go up one zero and you can't manage it but this series we stand victorious. ends one to one each team getting one point